And where you coach Jordan, Kwame, still yeah. bring any, any particular oh, memories? Yeah, in? I mean, wherever I've been is great. I mean, I see all my, all the people here who've worked in the organization, my buddies at a bottle of red wine for one of them, a couple of them waited for me here to say hi. That's, that's the great part about this NBA is, you know, 40 years of going to these arenas and places that you've been and you spent time and, and you spent time with people. And I've always said the personality of a franchise are all these people who are working back here in these halls. These people who are doing all these all this work back here that nobody ever sees. And, man, when you make friendships with those people and, and you see them and they give you a smile, that's what it's all about. You know, and that, that's the thing that has always driven me is, the, you know, is, is to walk in and, and see a, a, someone that you've worked with for two or three years and, and realize they're happy to see you and you're happy to see them. How has your relationship with Kwame developed this year, you know? Well, you know, it's been unfortunate. Kwame hasn't had a chance to play much. I think when we signed Andrew Bynum, I think it probably set him back a little bit because I think I think Kwame sort of saw that his role probably was going to be different. Uh, he came into training camp. He'd gotten hurt. Uh, he'd hurt some ribs before we got started. He came in, actually started our first exhibition games, and then hurt his calf, and and was uh, and, and was sort of nicked up most of the year. And so um, it's been good. It just, you know, I, I feel badly he hasn't played. I was hoping he was going to play more, but uh, he's been fine. So was there ever any sort of clearing of the air just I, back I don't think from there those days? And... There was no smog. I, I don't get into all the nonsense that's written. That's, that's, I, just, I really don't. If I did that, I, I'd be slobbering on myself right now.